Maasai warriors provided the inspiration for the first designs on the catwalk. Farouk Abdella is from the island of Zanzibar, but is well known in London. Until recently, he had his own shop on the Portobello Road. He was one of a dozen designers taking part in the show at the Fashion Cafe. This is a marvellous opportunity for, for designers like ourselves um, to show our work. And it's high time the British fashion industry recognised that we do exist, we do a very good job and we're very professional and our work is pro um, appreciated. What are you particularly good at? What can African fashion bring to the world of fashion? Um, colours, of course. Um, colours, styles, movements, a lot. Everything. Former model Katusha Curtis was showing her couture collection for the first time in London. From Somalia, the former Versace girl quickly dispelled first impressions that African fashion is solely about tribal influences. Her classic evening gowns could have graced the catwalks in Milan or Paris. But she was also here in support of a charity. I'm here tonight for this African event and also to be a part of this thing against the woman ablation in Africa. Tell me about that. That's important, isn't it? Why, why are you supporting this campaign? Because I think we are almost on the year 2000 and it's time to get rid of it. Female circumcision is widely prevalent in many parts of Africa. Often carried out on young girls without anaesthetic, this extremely painful ritual can lead to death from bleeding. It also creates health problems throughout women's lives, including infertility and death in childbirth. The United Nations is campaigning for the practice to be banned worldwide. The show wasn't only a platform for the work of black Africans. Buckton Dutois, a design duo from South Africa, showed a strong couture and bridal wear collection, which included hand-sewn embroidery with freshwater pearls. The designers hope to change preconceptions about African fashion. Anything that comes out of Africa is second class, really. We have to change that immediately, uh, because Africa and its peoples have a lot to offer the world. Um, there's a richness of culture, a richness of economy, a richness of person uh, that comes out of Africa. I didn't buy anything today, but I had a lovely night, and it's nice here we are in the west end of London to see so many black, white people, so many African people, all looking at some of the most beautiful African women, and more importantly, some of the most beautiful clothes. But I might buy one or two clothes, designer clothes, for my wife. history which is reflected in many of the fashions tonight but against all that color comes the dark nature of female oppression on the continent let's hope the UN campaign to stamp out the barbaric practice of female circumcision succeeds Rachel Royce Channel 1 the Fashion Cafe Cleaners gave the royal residence a quick whip round with a vacuum cleaner before the crowds turned up. The palace opened to the public for the first time three years.